How's it going everybody? Electron Man here. Um, I kind of promised you this a couple videos ago that I, I might bring this up and thought it was a good opportunity to kind of bring it out and show you. You know, if you're doing any uh, any type of bench repair, whether it be power supplies, CB radios, ham equipment, flat screen TVs, there's going to be times you're going to need to be uh, testing components. And uh, a lot of the digital voltmeters of today have a, have a lot of those functions. I've got a, I mean, I think I've shown pictures, I've got a whole workbench of RF generators, signal generators, oscilloscopes, but uh, I probably use this little tool more than any of um, this little uh, multifunction tester TC1. Um, I've even got right here, this is the old school stuff, the way you used to do things, but right here, this big old guy, this uh, Ant Pro right here is nothing but a capacitor checker. And uh, not that it's bad, and it, and it did its job, and it does leaking, and I mean, it's got, it's, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a quality piece of equipment, but, uh, Look how big it is. You got to plug it in. I mean, uh, it takes a 9 volt battery on top of that. And it all it does is check capacitors. And then you got this, which you could pick these up for, uh, I think I picked this one up off of Amazon for like, it was under $25, like $22, $23. They've come a long ways. I used to have an old breadboard type, and uh, over the years, different variations of them, they've, uh, they've improved. But now most of them come like this in a little case, and a uh, a lot of them are called TC1s, uh, different manufacturers, but uh, basically it's a multifunction tester. And uh, I'm just going to kind of give you kind of idea what all you can test on it. Uh, you can test anything from like a, you can take an LED here. We'll just drop an LED in here to start with. And uh, you just don't want to, on the number scheme on the top there, one, two, three, one, two, three, two. You just don't want like one, one together. Um, but it doesn't really matter which, which ones you put them in other than don't put one, one together. But so I just got this in one and three, but anyway, I lock it down, hit the test here. Tells me that it's a diode, which any LED is a diode if you don't know that. And it tells me the voltage. And you can check uh, good old, this is probably what I use it more for anything is a capacitor checker. Super handy for that. These leads are a little bit small, so what we'll do is we'll grab a couple of these. And these little uh, pros are included there. Not the highest quality, but they, they get the job done. I'm going to go ahead and put like that. And then we'll just take these little prongs. And it doesn't, voltage doesn't, or uh, polarity doesn't matter. You just, just hook her up. Hit test. It tells me it's a capacitor. It says it's 70, uh, 75 uh, U microfarads. Which that's not right. You know, I might have a bad cap here. This was pulled out of a radio, so it very well could be a bad cap. I just had one laying there on the bench I grabbed, but uh, yeah, this uh, this cap, this is a 470 microfarad. So yeah, this is a bad cap. It's, it's, it's testing a 74. So see, that's right there, bad cap. And then you can you can uh, different types of uh, capacitors. You can check these ceramic ones too. Which that's exactly what that is. That's a tin puffy yep. And it's a good capacitor. And it shows you so, and it also tell you if it's shorted or leaking. Um, then you can test. Go ahead and take these two little probes out. You can take a transistor. Do the same thing. I just. Plug, plug it in one, two, three here. And it tells me it's an MPN transistor. It gives me all the specifics on it and how the diode is and how the switching is on it and what pin one, two, and three or what the collector is. And Anyway, uh, just like that. And I know it's a good transistor. Uh, you can take a resistor. Let's just take a old resistor here. Throw a resistor in here. It said unknown damaged part. Oh, it's because I put it in 2 2. What I told you not to do. I was trying this video and paying my attention. There we go. Does it's resistor? 500, 500 ohm. Which that's exactly what it is. How can you go wrong with that, folks? For twenty-two dollars. I mean, if you're uh, if you're working on something and 
you think you got a cap bad, you pull the cap out, put it on here, boom, test. It's either intolerance or it's not. Uh, resistors, transistors, diodes. Um, there are some limitations on it. Um, you can read that, but for the most part, like I said, it's probably one of the most uh, handy little items I have sitting on the bench. It's uh, This one here is actually rechargeable, so it doesn't even take batteries. And uh, as much as I use it, I might be charging it once a week. And, uh, and it, it's not even out then. I just figure it needs to charge about once a week. But anyway, if, uh, if you haven't, you know, if you want to mess around with electronics and do repair and, and learn them, this is a great little tool to have. And they're, they're so reasonable. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this little short video. This is Electron Man. You have a great day out there. And please like and subscribe if you get a chance.